Anybody want to buy an Integra? It's a GSR. Uh, you just got to put it together yourself. You know, come over here, put it together. You can have it. Cheap. Cheap. No, I'm just playing. Uh, we're going to do another instructional video. This one's going to be a little different. Uh, step around stuff here. Oh, I'm always working on cars. Is that right? Is that good? All right. All right, going to do another instructional video. This one's going to be a little bit different uh, than what you guys are probably used to. Well, no, the video is going to be exactly the same. Uh, <laughs> my guitar skills have not improved. Um, no, uh, I'm saying it's different because normally I do an instructional video after I've uh, done a song myself and, and put it up of me playing and singing it. This time, uh, I'm not putting up a video of me playing it and singing it. I was at my buddy's house the other night, and I was like, hey, let's, let's do that Lucero song. You know, I love it. It's a good song. And we did it, and I just can't play it and sing it. Uh, the way he sings it, twofold. One, his accent. It, I have a problem where if I've heard a song a million times or enough times, I can't force myself to sing it the way I need to sing it within my range and what will sound good, like you saw in the Billy Joel song, if you saw it. You know, I, I, I've heard the song so many times, I try and sing it more like he sings it than trying to keep in my range. My buddy keeps telling me that I have a Brett Michaels range, that I can sing any of his songs really, really well, but that's about it. So it's like Brett Michaels singing a Billy Joel song. But anyway, uh, I can't sing that Lucero song and play it because the words do not go with the chords at all. I mean, they do, but they don't. Uh, his timing is is very different, which I think makes the song that much better uh, because it's not normal. If you've heard the song, and obviously you have, that's why you're looking at this video, uh, you, you understand exactly what I'm talking about. It's very, very weird, uh, but it's good. Um, I'm putting up this video because, again, I find with another song that looking up the tabs for it, the tabs are wrong. <laughs> and I don't understand why so many people put up incorrect tabs. I'm not a very good guitarist, and I can tell you that there's numerous songs on numerous tab sites that are just incorrect. I might not be able to tell you exactly what chord the guy is playing, vice your uh, B, B minor or whatever, but I'm going to tell you your B minor is wrong. It doesn't belong there. I'm sure you guys have run into the same problem. Uh, a lot of people try and dumb stuff down that shouldn't be dumbed down. Uh, some stuff can be. C add 9 instead of a C. Okay, I get that. That's, you know, my cheater E compared to a regular E. You know, sure, makes it easier for me to play. Doesn't take away that much from the song. But when you're, you're completely changing a chord, it makes the song sound different. Uh, and it doesn't fit. So I don't understand why people still do that. Uh, and some people still follow them. Uh, this, this song, <laughs> if you could play the Lifehouse You and Me song, that's this song. Again, third fret up, uh, very simple. It has the same chords that have no name. I'm sure they have a name, some technical name that's really weird, you know, F major J or whatever, uh, but I don't know what they are. Uh, so... Let's just jump right into it. I've got the laptop kind of far away here because it's hooked up to my uh, removable drive there, but I can kind of see the words. Basically, here's how this song goes. And uh, now you're not going to really be able to see uh, my fingers, but here we go. Without that finger, all right. Finger's not there, and I'm muting the one below it. All right. Both of those fingers, my, my staple of life, my cheater fingers that I never move, are still there. Third fret, 
bottom string and the next string up. All right. I'm not going to move them unless I'm playing the D to this song, the D or the A. All right. So again, G without that finger, and I'm muting the one below it. So the next one, this my pointy finger, second fret top string, muting the one below it. Then my cheater E. All right, second fret. Second string and third string down. All right, then go to a D. Now I'm going to a C add nine position, but I'm not using my pointy finger. I'm muting the one below it with my middle finger, and I'm muting the one above it with my thumb. All right, so moving down. Second fret, second string down, muting the one below it with my finger, muting the one above it with my thumb. Back to the E, the cheater E. So, basically, if I was to not play chords at all, I'm going to play like I'm playing bass, so you understand how easy this is. Okay, so I'm playing chords. Okay, now you can play just the E there. And uh, that's fine too, but again, I don't play very well and I cheat whenever I can. So I keep those fingers there the whole time. So that's the majority of the song. Now when the change-up comes, uh, so let's, okay, that's where it starts. The hell she's all mine, you're playing an A, all right? Hell she's all mine, for all night. Now that's the way I play it. All right, this song, uh, the lead singer, when he plays this, you can find tons of videos of him just playing it by himself, acoustic. He does a lot of arpeggiating and palm muting. So I don't do that. Uh, <laughs> when I play a song, I keep it very simple and I strum and play. So the one thing that I do in this song that I think uh, makes it sound better when you're coming back to it, you know? So she's all my. the C add 9 position with that finger because he's playing a C there or C add 9 uh, and I don't put these fingers on yet so I, I go I add them one at a time you know just like just like you saw and heard I add them one at a time and it kind of adds to it and then he speeds up the same chords and shoot and I play a full C add 9 there as well too And then he does palm muting, you know, uh, later in the song there. That's the entire song. That's it. Uh, so <laughs> get the words, listen to the song a few times, play along, uh, and and there you go. I, like I said, I can't sing it and play it. Maybe you can. So do it. Uh, but that's it. If anybody wants to buy an Integra, 1995, right there. And as the kids like to say, it's minty fresh. That shit's so gay. I don't understand it. See you guys later.